Pierce Prime Minister Narendra Modi has announced that DRDO scientists have successfully conducted the first flight test of indigenously developed Agnifile missile under mission Devyastra. The scientists tested the multiple independently targetable re-entry technology, which is cutting edge really viewers. The MIRV ensures that the warhead can be split into multiple re-entry vehicles to deliver a precise and targeted attack. Equipped with indigenous avionic systems and high accuracy sensor packages, this has been hailed as a testament to India's growing technological prowess on the global stage. With the successful test flight of mission Devyastra, India joins a select group of nations possessing MIRV capability, including US, UK, France, Russia and China. The Agni-5, powered by a three-stage solid fuel engine, boasts a striking range of up to 5,000 kilometers with exceptional, exceptional accuracy. Uh, viewers, what this really essentially means is that one missile can carry multiple warheads, which makes it very difficult to completely eliminate counter using counter missile technology, a missile fired by India. Let's go across to former DRDO engineer, Professor V.K. Saraswat. Uh, Mr. Saraswat, thank you very much for speaking to us. Can you give us a quick description of what this missile system is capable of now? This missile system which has been tested today is a modified version of Agni-5 which is carrying multiple independently targeted warheads. The main function is that in a single missile launch, one is in a position to send multiple warheads towards multiple targets. So this is a technology which has been established now, which will give India the, cap the capability to counter attack in the case of a nuclear attack with much power much intensity and much larger influence area. Now, when we talk about 5,000 kilometers, from which platform are we actually talking about? Is this integratable with uh, the Navy, with this the is, Air Force? This, this, is, this is a land launch missile. Land, land launch, launch missile. missile. Okay, yeah, so yeah. You, can, you can place it in a land base. Anywhere, which anywhere. Might be on offshore. a land base, mobile launcher, you can take it anywhere right. in the, on, on the planet. Okay, 5,000 kilometers, you say. It is more than 5,000 kilometers, more than 5,000. It's called 5,000 plus always. Okay, so what, what areas would therefore be within our reach now? You can draw a circuit with any of the points within, within our uh, country. Mm -hmm. And that will give you the reach wherever. It's a very simple exercise you can do. So even places like a China, circle of radius 5,000 kilometers you can draw. And see how right. many countries come in the reach of that. That okay. will give you the clear picture of what is the influence zone. Well, Mr. Saraswat, thank you very much uh, for putting that into perspective for our viewers there. Viewers, this is, as you know, a phenomenal, phenomenal booster for India's defense effort, which has actually been very prolifically growing under this particular regime. A large number of these systems were, of course, uh, operationalized now but the genesis might have been a few years preceding these.